and here on day one of Intersolar Europe 2016. I'm Jonathan Gifford, the editor-in-chief of PV Magazine Global. Now, here in Europe, we are an innovation centre and have seen a tumultuous time in the market over the last couple of years, but there are a number of key equipment and material suppliers based here alongside module manufacturers themselves. One of them is Italy's Coverme, and I'm joined by Alessandro Andalini, who's the division unit head of Coverme here in Italy. How would you describe um, their business at the moment and their role in the market? Uh, first of all, thank you, Jonathan, for this interview, for coming here. Uh, yes, there are many European PV producer and uh, business-related company here. And uh, as this is for us, I think, the fifth or the sixth year we've been uh, in Munich since the beginning. And I think we will still continue to come here because it's still a very important market. And I believe it will be play a big role also in the future. You know, we have seen many innovative uh, ideas uh, and projects coming up and especially on the um, let's say high output, high efficiency side. That's why we are uh, developing several projects. We have already introduced the market project uh, that, are, that can boost up uh, the power output by increasing the reflectivity of the back sheet. So this is I think one of the major topics and also uh, another innovative uh, um, a uh, niche market, which is today's a niche market, but I think it will uh, come up very soon, is the bifacial technology. Uh, and, w and how do you sort of serve that? A, a lot of bifacial modules are a glass-glass construction. W what, w what does the, the back shape play in, in this kind of uh, Absolutely. market? Absolutely, that's a good question. Of course, uh, it started as a glass-glass because basically uh, the idea is to have a, uh, a full transparency on the back side. Uh, however, you can have uh, also transparent polymer on the back, and that's our uh, that's our, our, why we can come in. We have developed uh, material since quite a while ago. It was meant to be gone on the BIPV integration, and now can be used also for bifacial with the UV protection on the out on the outer side. It's not completely transparent as a black, uh, as a as a glass, but it has several other advantages. So it is still transparent. The module can still benefit from a lot of transparency and can get the light from, from the back. This material is already uh, in the market with several producers and we are now developing, in the second stage, we are developing also material transparent for the 1500 volt in the US. Well, 1500 volt is, is a big, fast-growing market and one of the key kind of talking points in the US, but also also in Europe. The world's first 1500 volt installation was here in Europe. Um, just how much demand and interest are you seeing from the 1500 volt market, and and, and how are you serving that with a, with a new product? Yes, absolutely. We have uh, started, uh, and I'm proud to say, the first uh, 1500 volt project uh, for the standard module, eh? not not by facial. It was a standard project. Uh, that was installed actually in the uh, US and is still in, in installing by now, 1.5 giga, with a major PV producer. And we have been the first company in Backsheet to su supply this, this company. So based from this, now we are all already at the third generation. So we can supply material also compliant to the new IC rules uh, for the 1500 volt. And we can do it in white, so for the standard PV module, and also for the transparent, for the bifacial applications. So from the Innovation Centre here in Europe, Alessandro Andolini, the PV um, Unit Director for, for COVM, thanks for your time. Thank you very much, Zoran. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.